finish okay anyway um oh maybe i should have put it at the top anyway it's too late um the camera a little teeny weeny bit just because I don't want to be okay also getting rid of this If you are new here, welcome. If you are a regular, hello. And here we go. Let's do this. So, oops, just kidding. Um, one second. Wow. Welcome to the show. I don't want to see this one. Hmm. What the? Okay, we're going to see this one then. You updated the stream. Okay, cool. Thank you, Nightbot and Fourbox. It's it's the teamwork for me. Oh, this is a big painting. I like it better from far away. Um, I know that people say that all the time, but like it actually doesn't look that great close up. <laughs> like just go far away and like squint your eyes, and you'll be like, this is a good painting here. Because yeah. That makes sense. And to you, we're close up to it right now. So let's just work with that. Um, okay, so I wanna add eyes somewhere, but are we gonna do floating eyes or are we gonna do like eyes connected to a body slash person or thing slash animal? What are we, what are we gonna do? That's the million dollar question. Huh. I still want to talk about Eve, so maybe we could have Eve and an animal here. We kept talking a lot about deer. I do want to include a deer. Let me look up what a deer looks like and block it in. That's that smartest stuff. Good smartest material. Um, deer. I feel like I should specify. I only know one deer though, so I'm just gonna do that one. White tail deer. <laughs> what the heck? The second one was white tailed eagle. Never heard of that. Or should I say doe? Is it the same for male and female deer? Is it deer just 
or is a male deer called something else? I don't know. Okay, let's see, let's see. Images. <laughs> Ooh, this one's giving me Bambi vibes. I think that's the deer I'm thinking of actually. A stag, but that, that, that sounds right. But then I'm like, why, what? I guess deer is just the species. Anyway, okay. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go on to things of concern. What if we have a deer head popping out of here, like looking right at us? That could be interesting. Or popping out behind one of the trees. I keep saying, I'm saying that because there, I have this um, picture here that I could use. I'm gonna just save it really quickly. Okay, that one. Hmm. Okay. Also, angle is a pro is a problem because we're like really tall in this. Um. Yeah. So who are we actually? Are we the people in the forest? Are we looking in the forest? Like, what is happening? You know what? I think I'm gonna still have a person in the forest. It's just gonna be a scene from a slightly higher angle instead of trying to make a hole I'm, I'm thinking about it too hard okay <laughs> let's just have the deer the deer mm. they could be popping out of here or you know what let's put them in the back a little bit Ooh, what if we have like a um where's waldo kind of thing happening with the deer and like other animals too but specifically should i do fall since it is fall anyway Okay, I'm getting a lot of ideas right now. <laughs> um, I, I don't know which ones to do. But we can either, I definitely want to do a deer. I don't know if I'm going to have it. I don't know where it's going to be, man. I, I, I just, I don't know yet. I don't want to have a person, which I also don't know where it's going to be. But I want them big enough that I can actually paint their eyes. Maybe I could have them like, okay, tell me if this is too weird. But maybe I could have them like coming out from the sides. So like <laughs> like the deer is poking their head out this way and the person's poking their head out this way, but then I feel like that doesn't make sense with the rest of the scene. Like, what is happening? Let me clarify the background first, actually. That's gonna be that's the first order of business here tonight. Okay. Uh sorry about my ramblings. Just trying to uh not have art i mean i don't really have arts block right now at least thank goodness but i'm just like i don't know which direction to take it i know which direction i generally want to go but i don't know exactly how to execute that mm -hmm. oh my gosh earlier today i was painting a little bit that's why my palette is not matching actually it is matching kind of what the heck i guess i always paint the same palette anyway I shimmied the last blade out of this one and was able to put in a new blade. It was so caked. It was really bad. Anyway, okay. Just saying that because I have missed it dearly. And now I can use it to clear off the palette some. Okay. Also, kind of a side comment. But is anyone watching House of the Dragon? Because I am. <laughs> and I want to talk about it. <laughs> and I want to know if I'm not. Okay, so never mind. I won't talk about it then. No spoilers. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. That's fine. I won't talk about it then. And to who? Let me finish cleaning off this. I do mind. I do mind spoiling. Ah. Are you gonna watch it? I do recommend watching it actually because it is pretty good. And you know what? This is gonna be good enough. That's fine. Okay. Eventually, 
Yeah. But I, I can relate. I was like that with um, the original Game of Thrones, but... Yes, I did. I did. I was really late to the game, but then binged it in like a few weeks. So, yeah. That was, that was my life for a few... For like a good while there. It was just GOT every day. But, um... <laughs> I have since healed and I'm ready for the next round. Is it just my screen or am I super blurry right now? Okay, that's fine. It just fixed itself. Let's continue. I want to do something with the ground. It's too smooth. What kind of ground is like this? Ooh, should I do rocks? I actually kind of want to do rocks. But what kind of forest is rocky? I can do like a muddy forest, but that's kind of gross. Used to binge from the beginning. Every time a new season came out, it's very binge worthy. A very binge worthy show. And I noticed that the the new A Forest with Rocks is rocky. Yes. But ah. I'll make some rocks, but I'm really, I don't think that it's really... Rock Creek Park? What are you talking about? Is that even Georgetown? I know they have rocks, but I feel like new rocks are not that... Like, I can't cover the ground with them. Dunbarton Oaks, really nice place. Okay. Um... Well, if they can do it, I can do it. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this slim, there we go. A slim brush, slim thick brush. Mm. Oh my gosh, this sounds like the, oh, okay. For a second that sounded like the background's like a hacker scene. But now it sounds like a parade or something, so. Grass. Oh. I was gonna do grass, and I would like to do grass, but I don't know how to paint grass. It was grass before, and it looked really, really bad. So I'm trying to steer clear of that. However, I could try again. I guess. I guess the point of me doing this is that I have more skills now. Yes, that's all. This is like just, yeah. No, this music is definitely, yeah, it's, it's very, um, familiar. <laughs> um, okay, let's try grass. Ah! I'm going to use my fan brush. It works really nicely for the, um, trees, so maybe it will have that same effect, possibly. Possibly, but possibly not also. So, I'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I want to scrape off some of the paint I left on there. I should just get a new fan brush possibly, but nah. Nah. So I'm going to... Okay, let's see what we can do. I guess in the back I don't have to worry as much about it. So I'll start there. <laughs> Where I literally just had it. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's why. Okay! So I'm gonna mix up some green for the back. Is it still active? No. Okay, so it's going to be a nice dark green, mostly blue, probably just going to be like a turquoise. Um, no, no, no. Usually, the reason I chose these specific colors is because they mix really well with each other. So, like, if I mix Prussian blue and yellow, it's not going to give me a turquoise. That's something I like about it. It's going to give me a green. A green that I can 
Use a back brow here. You know, like some colors when you grab them, they already have other colors mixed in. And I know that's normal. Yeah. I am just, I mean, I just have the primary colors and white. But, or I mean, I have other colors, but I just like to use the primary colors and white. Because it can make any color on me, you know? I will never be like, oh my gosh, I wish I had brown. It's right there. I wish I had purple. It's right there. I wish I had orange. You know? Like, very convenient. Handy dandy for me. Okay, so this green is like very, very dark. But I'm going to work with it. <sighs> Should I have? I'm going to have it short enough that I don't have to do the wind pattern. Oh, here it is. Okay, um, I'm nervous, but let's just see how this looks. Okay, it actually looks good. <laughs> it actually looks fine. I also have not done much, so just like five strokes, so we'll see. start in the way back. Uh, I'm actually going to stand a little bit for this one. Huh. The thing is, like, I feel like about what? I'm sorry, I missed it. I don't know what we're talking about. painting grass you should be able to like you don't have to do each strand yes I'm nervous about painting this grass literally right now because I feel like I don't know how to paint grass <laughs> like I feel like you shouldn't have to do each strand or blade whatever but that's what I'm doing kind of like I don't, I don't know how to paint it that it would look like it was just, um, like flowing in the wind, like people do. People can paint grass really nice, and I'm just over here like, that's honestly what I'm, the technique I'm trying to use right now, like the Bob Ross fan brush, but I'm not Bob Ross. I'm just a girl. I'm just a human being. Uh, so is he? What are you talking about? <laughs> Bob Ross is a legend. Uh, he had his own TV show, man, where he just literally hung out and painted and had a squirrel. Like, what? Who does that? A freaking legend. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try out this technique. It's going to probably take a long time, actually. But... I'm gonna try it anyway. I feel like it definitely could work if I execute it well. Um, so what I'm thinking is to just do the, ooh. Ah! I should have done the um, background first. What I'm thinking is to just do all of the darkest, um, blades of grass and then just layer it like normal but I want to do oh maybe I can make this like a hill in the back ankles up in the middle that could be a thing Okay, 
Right, you'll see what I'm saying soon enough. This is not taking nearly as long as I thought it was going to. Probably because I don't want it to, you know? You know when that happens and it just works out? Like, I don't want this to take that long and it just, you make it not. Pretty sweet deal. Okay, if they're that tall in the back, they need to be... Oh my gosh, how was your first day of work? Ah, oh my gosh, I put too much. Ah, could the drips work? No, let's do something realistic. starts with S there. It's not fun. You get to see the exhibit anytime you want though, right? don't have like desks that's true true that true that I worked in like a locker. Hmm. But all I've done is teach mostly. That one back here. Actually, this could work here too. on shaving shifts. I was unfulfilling job that's something where I go to. Where you want to go every day, yeah. Totally. That's literally why I was like, I'm gonna do art. <laughs> I'm gonna do art the rest of my life, man. It's like, people will pay me money to paint pictures? What? Huh? Are you sure? Is that real? Okay, I'll do that. On shading shifts. What does that mean? What do you mean? Oh, like in the darker areas. That makes sense. I already started though. So, I'll do, uh, I feel like I should just continue. I think, I don't know, we'll see. If not, I can erase it. This is a light area. Actually, that's a good idea. Let me erase some of the ones already. Okay. I think 
guys see what you mean? A reference? Yeah, the paint is wet. <laughs> Wait. I don't know what what do you mean? This is these are oils. They're gonna be basically active the whole time. <laughs> if you can send a reference, that'd be great. Let me see if I have um, my Discord on here. Oh, there it is, perfect. Oh yes, I already erased it. <laughs> I erased it in the like in the light areas. I mean, you can still kind of see it. But I'll try it out. Yes, I can always change it. Something I love about this this medium, man. This one from Howells. Okay. Oh, these are all Howells. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, but that's what I was doing. So, like, they have the shadow underneath, and then they'll, they also have the, um, like, the light on top. For the close-ups, at least. Oh, such a good movie. Okay. Um, let's bring one up. Oops. But you see how they have like the shadow ones at the bottom? That's what I'm trying to do, like the base. And then I will go over it with the lighter areas. But also I'm like, how light is it gonna be? It's presumably nighttime. And I have this light over here coming, but I don't know where it's coming from. Ugh, there's too many questions in this. Okay, so I'm going to decide that right now before I continue, actually. The light over there can be, like, a person. That's also true, but how, no one would guess that. Unless they did, but how would they... How can I tell them that, <laughs> basically? Like, I have this mysterious light with no explanation. <laughs> um, and it's, like, pretty strong. But it's like in the forest so it could be a person when i had it as the sun like shining on them a shiny animal mm. yeah but I'm still thinking about that shiny animal. That could be interesting. If I have like um, like something like plated with gold or something and it's just like reflecting it all over the full forest. But what animal? Which woodland creature could it be? 
Um, uh, I feel like it would have to be maybe not. Please no. Please no. No. Uh, I really want to do something interesting. I could do, mm, definitely no, definitely no. However, I can do a tiny animal and then have like other tiny animals following it or even big animals, that could be cool. I think you already knew the answer before, before your suggestion was even compiled in your head. You were like, she's gonna say no. And you were right. <laughs> but I'm thinking, what if I just do the tail of something and I have the gold plate? <gasps> and I can use the gold leaf. Now I really want to do that. But I keep thinking of an armadillo, <laughs> but also, like, are those even woodland creatures? I feel like they live in the desert, don't they? I don't know, man. Um, alternatively, I could just do whatever creature I want and they can just deal with that. I'm thinking that's the answer. <laughs> um, what creature has a tail, though, that I can do? A tailed creature, uh, kangaroo maybe, or like, mm, maybe a snake. Wait a minute, if I want a a person like a guardian with a ton of firefly. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, the fireflies. That's a wonderful idea. Natural light that would be in a woodland space oh, yes 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 let's do that okay but i need to uh okay well if this okay okay i need to fix some shading really quick <laughs> because i'm realizing if the um if the light is here that this tree is going to be casting more of a shadow and it's going to be darker back here Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, I'm excited. I'm starting to like this. Like even though the paint is still kind of glopping together a little bit, I'm just starting to embrace it. <laughs> That's what paint does, man. I chose this.
So now that I have like the first layer of shadow, I'm gonna eradicate this green. It, it could even still be card called green. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to work again, honestly. Like after I graduated, I was kind of just like taking a break, but also just didn't really have as much like not that I didn't have inspiration, but I just felt like. I don't know. I just thought. I think it was because I didn't have a studio. But, um, I don't know. That's never stopped me before. But, it was so nice having a studio, guys. It was so nice having a studio. Uh, like, the thing I liked about having a studio is that I could be as messy as possible. Like, not just as messy as I wanted, but as messy as possible. That's not something you get with an in-home studio. Like, why would you do that? Ah. But, it was nice to paint again. And not being able to make a mess also makes me, like, do more detail work, if that makes sense. Like, it's not just big flourishes, it's it's like this stuff that I actually am out of practice with. Even during um, school, I don't know why, but whenever I, I guess it's just like a comparing thing, but whenever I'm like at a, like graduating college, or even in high school, or anytime, I always feel like I should be at a certain skill level. And when I'm not there, it's very annoying. It's like, I feel like I should just have that skill. As soon as I graduate, I should be able to do what, like all these different things. But it's like, and I do have like some skills, but I'm just like, there are things I still want to learn. And, hmm, I'm just realizing I may never learn everything. But at the same time, it's like, where I am now is pretty good. And it's definitely a good, um, it's better than like my starting point for sure. And there are new things to learn still, which is, makes it exciting, I guess. But. Sometimes you just want to know how to do the thing you want to do, you know? Like, that's cool too. Okay, so we do the second layer of the green. Ooh, it's a nice forest green too. Ooh. I actually like this a lot. We're done. Yeah. I feel that. I was very, very lucky um, in school to have a, a not single, but have my own room. Oh. It could have been way worse. <laughs> I 
I'm like, okay, so I usually don't do grass in my paintings, but grass actually, well, not just grass, but like scenes like this, like a full background, are something that I want to work on. So I'm working on it. <laughs> However, I'm not like good at it yet, and it's really annoying. Like, it's really nice and just reassuring, comfortable to do paintings that I know I can do well. And even though I want to learn how to do this kind of stuff, doing it and not being like, oh yeah, that totally looks good, is very annoying. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm just, ooh, guessing most of this. As you may notice, like, I'm just, we'll seeing it. <laughs> Just we'll seeing it, man. Okay. Definitely some here, some here. Mm. Uh, I should have done that first. Okay, actually, I should do that first. So these trees do not have definite um, endings. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do that first because I can just cover it up with my handy dandy grass. Ooh, just kidding. <laughs> oh wait, no. Mm. Is that working? I also have to remember this is just an underpainting. no time crunch there is no deadline at all so that's really nice if there was a deadline it would have been years ago because that's when I started this painting so let's I'm gonna make this uh, rebirth worth it hopefully Oh my gosh, this lighter green is not much lighter. I put way too much blue in the first one. Okay, let me also look at this reference because that's gonna be super helpful. Instead of working so thinly, no, 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 never mind. Because this is, I already started, it's actually looking okay. So I'm just going to continue on this path. <laughs> Get at this point. 
Was I in? Ooh, that was the wrong idea. Okay, let's just go back to this. <laughs> I'm still like trying to figure out if I even want to do local color or like the blue scale thing. That's kind of just happened. Um, <laughs> but I think I am going to go local color and I just need to add it in right now. And for me, the biggest thing at this point, at least, is making sure that I don't put the wrong colors in the wrong areas. I don't mess up the shading because I'm not working from a reference, even though I should and never do, don't know why. But, oh gosh. But, um, I do know if light source is here, the shadows will go that way and not this way. Why did I do that the other day anyway? Like, what was that? What was, what was the reason? Although I could make it a little angled and then it would kind of work out. Okay, I'll have to do that. Are the rest of the blades of grass? Oh my! Oh my gosh! fill up the rest. Anyway, just another blemish. I don't like how it looks in the front as much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back to that. into two. I'm going to keep half of this green and then make a different green also. So I can have some variety just in case I need the darker green again. I'm gonna do my thing and that's gonna be This is going to be a good green for the light. Let's start it. I keep... Ah! You don't own paint. Oh my gosh. Is that true? Well... That is 
easily remedied. collapsing man that was that was quite the event huh okay but it's been like years trying to do more digital work. All my traditional work has been done like marks and pencil. Oh, okay. I'm horrible with Markle, markers. I'm gonna say markles. <sighs> markers and pencils. Had a baby. Baby markles. It's like the drying process like you use it and then it's a completely different color when it dries and the layering like there is none unless you want it to be see, seen like seen that you were layering but I don't know it might just be because I haven't really used them um, like enough that's not something they really teach us in art school actually I guess you have always have the option to use it, of course, but they don't really teach you how to use it. And honestly, as I get, or as I got, um, yeah, they teach paint and like other stuff, but this is like the digital age, man. A marker is so much easier to also just have. <laughs> like, you can carry that with you anywhere. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. The more, or like the farther I got in art school, the less they actually taught. <laughs> like, year one? Oh. Huh. I guess I didn't really want to use markers. I don't know. I could, it's the same thing with like grass, I guess. Like, you could learn it if you want to, and just do it yourself. Huh. No, literally it was. Well, I don't know. I, um, so so, because that paper is worth a lot. But at the same time, like they don't actually. I don't know if it was my school. Yeah. Well, didn't you go to, um, I don't remember the name of it, the one in Chicago, but I do not remember the name. Chicago something. It's something. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my gosh. Oh, as I got to like senior year. It was mostly just do what you want, but make it good. Yes, Art Institute of Chicago. That is the one. Was it like that for you guys there too? Where they were just like, make art and make it good. It's like, um, okay. Okay. But, oh, that's why it was a scam? What do you mean? Why did you say it was a scam? They didn't teach you anything? I feel like usually, well, mm, I can't say usually because I've only gone to, I've gone to two schools, but I only went to one. 
uh, freshman year. Okay. <laughs> but um, my first year, even though I knew I wanted to paint, they would literally not let me. I mean, they couldn't stop me from painting on my own, but they were like, um, you cannot choose your major yet. You don't even know what you want. And I'm just like, uh, actually, I, I do. Um, if I could just get that, that painting uh, major in, that'd be great. But then when I transferred, they didn't even have a paint, painting major. It was just art. Like, you just do art. And that's fine. But I wasn't among other painters. And, I mean, I was, but uh, I didn't get uh, enough, like, I don't know. I wish there was a more specified major that I could have gotten more specific painting instruction because my professor was not a painter either. You don't need a degree. You just need good art. That's very true. And even my um, freshman um, drawing professor was saying that. That's very true. Connections and kind of the teaching yourself, which is annoying at the same time, but it's, it is useful. Yeah, it's any artist. You just need to be able to do it. <laughs> and sometimes you don't even need to be able to do it well, you just need to be able to do it um, specifically, recognizably. Something that I'm Connections, online courses for art. Hmm. You still could also. But have you ever done one before? Because I was thinking about courses also. Once you buy it, you can just watch it whenever you want. Oh yeah, 3D modeling is super cool. But I don't think I have the... I don't know. I was going to say I don't think I have the software for it, but I guess you just download it. <laughs> but I definitely don't have the space for it on my laptop. What, um, what, um, what, <laughs> what platform, or like, where'd you get, what kind of, where'd you get the class, I guess? The only place I really know to get classes, schoolism, okay. The only place I know is that, that place that's always advertising, like, their cooking classes. I think it's just called master class.
Skillshare. I've also heard of that one. Oh, why do you trust schools and more? I haven't heard anything bad about Skillshare. I actually haven't heard of schoolism also. How did you find out about it? Is that why you trust it more or is that um, just why you chose it? artists from um like how do you know the artists oh, oh that's also really nice does schoolism give free trials because that would be interesting I would be interested in that. Okay, this is actually coming out. Like, it's actually doing its thing. Hmm. <sighs> I was definitely nervous going into this, but actually coming out well. I haven't done such a large scale like grass, grassy scene before. What? So you found them on like social media? Thank you. <laughs> No, I figured it was like an artist that you knew of through something. I didn't know if you met them at like a art show or or found them on social media or how you found out about them. Because classes are something that I would want to both take and um, like put up, but I don't really know much about them. I haven't done them myself online at least. Oh no, why did I do that? Oh gosh, okay, there we go. So yeah, it's good info. But I'll also look on there. Okay, I need to make some more of the light one. Actually, let me just use this little last thing. Because I wanted to do classes on my website also, but my website doesn't have the um, discoverability. Erin Blaze. Oh, that's on Schoolism?
Don't mind if I do. Okay, so he has his own site. Huh, a Disney artist. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. look into you. That's crazy. What the heck? Wow. Isn't that okay, but like that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how much like art can do. Because <gasps> when I think of Brother Bear, I do not think of art, I think of like my childhood. That's nostalgia. But someone literally cr created my nostalgia. Okay, cool. That's fine. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Art is so cool. I'm so glad I'm an artist, man. Background in zoological illustration. I didn't even know that was a thing. Or a, specific, a specification. done with the grass for now I'm gonna do a little bit more for the trees because this one is really bothering me a lot ah. okay. 
I think I am gonna do local color. Local color for the most part. Maybe the firefly, fly, firefly light can have some other like effects because I do like the um, blue and orange here. But for the back of the trees, I want some brown to just come through, like a cool brown. Actually, I can still use this green and just add some red to it, so that works. Mm, or should I keep it to the side? Nah. I'll just make it brown. <laughs> okay. Oof. Wow, look at that. the best browns, man. Wow. It's perfect for the woods at night. <laughs> it's definitely giving me into the woods at night. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to take my time with this one also since I am trying something new. as far as the scenery like the rest of my work just basically is whatever the subject is and hardly any scenery i started doing more scenery and for my thesis but i never oh i forgot what for oh i never um huh actually i could use a little bit more red but let's see That's interesting, but it's not correct. <sighs> okay. okay, let's see. Let's try this again. This looks a lot better. Let me do this one. Oh, jeez. Ah. Okay. And there that goes. Mm, that's fine. This is the part I really want to do. I'm gonna I'm kind of working backwards on this one. The brown is gonna be the lighter area and the blue is gonna be the shadows. Which I will definitely need to add more blues in later, but just for now. I'm so glad I decided to change this. I feel like this is what, I've never done it before, I don't know what I'm talking about at all, but I feel like this is what, like, art therapy is. Art therapeutic, or art as therapy, I guess I can say. I don't know art therapy like that, and people, 
but art is so therapeutic. Like, just doing these lines. And anything goes. It is very nice. I think I should bring the brown into the other side too. Hmm. I guess I'll just try it. That could push the back one farther also. Because then it would be a lot darker than the front too. starting the transition. Also to cover up some of the brown or it's the oranges I have there. It as a transition, but I don't know how it's. I think it needs more in order to transition well. It also kind of looks like it's coming from the inside. Or like the orange is coming from inside the tree. What do you guys think? I'm just gonna do it to all of them and then we'll fit because all of them will have it. Yep. That is logic at its finest. <sighs> and I can do the fireflies finally. I was starting to get to the part where I can do the animals. Like the background is cool and stuff, but I'm excited to work on the deer also. Maybe I should do like a mini painting for the deer. Like as a um as a thumbnail or um mock up or whatever you call it. I'm totally blanking on art speak right now. It's like the practice painting you do first before you do your final painting.
Okay. This one really needs help. So <laughs> I'm gonna give it this lip here. And then that will kind of split up here. And come down here like so. Hmm. Okay, that can work for that. I still have a lot to do on that one though. Let me do the easy ones first, and then probably do that one tomorrow. I may even do it on my own. Also, speaking of um, painting off cam, I'm working on this um, what is it called? Commission! Earlier today! And I think I made a lot of progress. Kind of. I made progress. Um, but it also has a long way to go. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. It's supposed to be, or it is, of the event I was doing like a feel of the night, but I have a long way to go. Thankfully, the guy was like, take your time. And I hope he means it because I am <laughs> like, I really am. I have a lot of plans for this thing here. And I also just want to do a good job because not only did he pay me in advance, but he's just given me so many opportunities. And it's like, thank you. I appreciate that. In fact, I actually need to respond to him. Earlier today, he left me this voicemail. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but instead of getting an actual call, it'll just send me a text message of the transcription of the voicemail that they left to me. <laughs> I'm just like, I could have picked up the phone. That would be, that'd be cool too, but okay. So basically like, Anyway, I had to figure out that, but he sent me this transcript, kind of, about this modeling gig that is happening in the neighborhood, and I already knew about it because I saw it on their Instagram page, but I was like, that's also super nice of him to just be like, hey, I know you do this, so like, I know of a show, and honestly, that's how I get most of my modeling, like, stuff, except for DC Fashion Week, but I do not seek it out really that much unless someone's like hey here's a gig for you i will likely not know and even when i do know about things well actually even the swim week one that they reached out to me randomly and they were like hey we have a job you could possibly do but there was no way i was going to go down there and not do the job because <laughs> it was it was in miami so there was no way, because it was only a call for, it was only a model call, and I mean, that's nice to invite me, but at the same time, it's like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> if, if, I mean, don't, don't, I, that's a, that's an expense, like, I, I, yeah. But, um, it was all good, it was really nice. And I would say I did it. I don't know exactly the details, um, but he said that she would reach out to me. Hopefully her call comes through and doesn't just, I get some calls, but I don't know, it's very touchy. I have to fix that before she does call and it doesn't come through, that would not be good. But his message was super sweet too. Oh, I love someone who's like supportive. <laughs> That's always the best. Uh... Ah! I 
it's really crazy because I we really started working together more this year with Art All Night, uh, with that commission actually. But I only uh, worked with him one time before. Uh, with actually the Art All Night for previous year. <laughs> But when I reapplied, I, I reached out to him and I was like, hey, I just reapplied. Luckily, he saw my email because apparently my application was just lost in the sauce. I was like, I never heard back anything. He was like, well, I'll get you in. I was like, thank you. <laughs> I'll get you in and I will commission you to do something. I was like, wow, thank you so much. Cause it's a really good opportunity. I last time I did it, or the last year when I did art all night, not the last time, cause I just did it these the the year before or last month. They're they're budding, they are budding. I, I'm starting to I'm starting to talk to people, you know. Um, but I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh, last time I was doing Art All Night, I met this art collector. And it was kind of embarrassing, actually, <laughs> because I um, I had my booth set up, and I was doing all the normal stuff that I usually do at my booth. I was like, hey, I think I was painting at the time, and this lady comes up to me, and she looks at one of my paintings, and she's like, oh, hi, can you tell me about this piece? I was like, oh, yeah, um, it's orange and it has a face on it and like yeah <laughs> and she just looked at me and she was just I mean I didn't say like that but I just didn't really tell her I didn't have a story for it it was just like a piece I did for class and she just looked at me and she was like um I'm an art collector and it would behoove you to have a background about your piece I was like oh okay Here's my card, <laughs> but now I have a background every time. And I mean, my pieces do well usually, unless it's literally like the class was draw this thought still life. But my pieces do have like meanings behind them. I'm not. It's not like just nothing. But I didn't know. That was the first time anybody had ever asked me that. Like, like seriously wanted to know what well not that they had the first time that they asked but the first time that they wanted to know like an in-depth like background of the story what I was thinking when I was painting it why I chose those colors and stuff and I was not ready but it made me think about like anybody I talked to could be an art collector or have some kind of art knowledge that or just I should give them as much information as possible <laughs> but not only that but I should just be prepared so now I do and I still need to be more prepared at art fairs because I don't have like a banner or anything that says my name but I I have like this <laughs> I have like this like cardstock piece of paper that I just wrote my information on like this is my this is me but I need to get more professional like it, it matters and it's so I'm so surprised when people come to me and they're like oh are, have you done all of these like you look like you really know what you're doing I'm like really do I <laughs> do I really cuz why are you saying this but I remember one time oh my gosh I don't even want to okay I was like this so, I once did this, <laughs> I'm sorry, this guy was hilarious. I was just like, what, are you okay? So, I had this one art show, it was on 14th Street actually, it was a really good show for me. I sold a painting for a good amount and like I met actually one of my good friends that I still have today at that show or at that event at my booth. Um, but the guy was so, I didn't want to work with him. Like, he, 
I don't know the specifics, but he organizes the event. I assume that he rents or has a vendor's license to let all of us work under his license. I need to get my own vendor's license soon, but he had his license, so he was letting all of us work under it. Before, when I first applied, actually he had been asking me to apply for a long time, months, months he had been asking me to apply. And he was asking me to apply like on, um, on Instagram, he would just DM me and he'd be like, because I followed his page. And every time I liked a photo on his page, he would always DM me and say, you should apply and be part of the show. So one day I'm like, oh, well, but it was like $60 to do it. I was like, okay, I don't have $60 to give this man. So I was like, um, one day, but one day I had the $60. So I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to do the show. Okay. Anyway, so I, I'm like, I apply, I do the show, to do the show, and he, I mean, I'm, my application is accepted, but he wants to call me and have like a, a talk about what the structure is. I'm like, okay. So, um, I get on the call with him, and most of the conversation was not even about the, it wasn't about how much it cost, or like how I would pay him. It wasn't about um, <laughs> how the show would be, when to arrive. Like that was a very small part of the conversation. Most of the conversation was talking about how he was in the military and like how long he's been in DC. I was just like, okay, um, okay. I, I, we were on the phone for probably hours and I, I just, I, I was really wondering why he was telling me so much about his life, but I guess he just had that personality. But anyway, guys, <sighs> okay, so he has that personality and I, I mean, I had to pull out the information from him, but I get to the event. I get to the event and he's like, okay, the, I'll have the chair for you, I'll have your tent, um, and I'll have the table for you. All you have to do is bring your art. I'm like, great, that's perfect. I get to the event and the tent was there. There was no chair and no table. My silly self decided I was going to wear kitten heels that day. Why did I do that? I don't know. I was expecting a chair though. <laughs> so, so yeah, there was no chair. I was standing. <sighs> so I'm standing up this whole time and he sees I'm wearing heels. He's like, oh, I don't have a table or chair for you. Let me go look in my storage unit and see if I can bring one out. I was like, great, thanks. So I'm standing there trying to like set up this really nice guy from across, um, or like he already had set up. He had this huge tent. I was like, whoa. But um, this is before I had my own tent. Uh, but uh, what was what was I even saying? Oh, he went to get the the table and chair. So he comes back in like thirty minutes, maybe longer. It felt really long because I was wearing those heels, but I don't know. It probably wasn't that long. But at least thirty minutes. Because I'm setting up, this guy's helping me. He's like, hey, you're new here. Um, I see you're struggling, and I'm a nice person. <laughs> he didn't say that, but that was, he obviously was. And he did. Um, so he helps me kind of set up. I had everything set up enough that I could just put the couple things on the table, and then I would be good. So he comes back with the table, and he's like, so, I couldn't find a table. He has these two pieces of, he has like, I think it's like a chair, and then like a shorter table. It wasn't like the unfold gray standing table that, you, you know, like the common one. So he's brought me this, this like makeshift table. We throw a tablecloth over it, it looks okay. Um, but it's a lot lower and it was fine honestly, but I was just like, okay, well Not what I expected um, 
this is interesting. So, I'm still standing, <laughs> no chair, trying to do my do my thing, you know? Like, I'm, I'm talking to everybody that comes by. I think that's why people said they look like I knew what I was doing, because everybody who walks by, they might like my work. They might want to join my email list. They might want to buy the piece. So I always say hi to everyone that's coming by. Or especially if, because some people are nervous to come to the table. Also, I've noticed that. Like, not everyone is going to just come to my table. And if I see people who look interested but don't approach the table, I'll always be like, hey, like, um, is there an art piece you're interested in? Or um, here's my card. Um, what's another one I say? I think I also say like art events because sometimes I have them. I don't have them that regularly, but if they would show up, like, I, I do have them. Anyway, so, um, yes, I'm doing my job. I was doing my job. I looked, I looked really cute in my little Kim Heels too. I was like, mm, yeah, I couldn't walk. I could barely stand, but I looked cute. <laughs> and, um, here comes... Uh, back and forth and he's like he's like oh uh, I, I'll see if I can get you a chair it looks like somebody else took an extra chair I was like oh okay thank you so much he brings me a chair and I'm like great thanks two seconds later I hadn't even grabbed the chair yet this lady is yelling that's my chair get that back blah blah I'm like um so they get into a whole full-blown argument. He's like, you took two chairs and you weren't supposed to take two chairs. She's like, well, I'm pregnant, so I need to sit down. Apparently, she got up to use the restroom or something and he stole the chair. Bro, I was like, um, I can stand. <laughs> like, I'm not pregnant. Like, dang, dude, what the heck? But yeah, so that happened, <laughs> and I just, I was like, please give her the chair. Um, then, I am, I'm, I'm just kind of shocked that that happened, I'm like, why would you steal the chair? When he brings, when he brought me a chair, I'm like, I'm thinking, he got this, like, he just had an extra, he found that extra chair, he talked with them at least, like, I, I don't know, that was very surprising to me. Um... Then, I, or the person next to me, they were selling cupcakes. They looked really good, but I didn't buy them. However, the person next to me was like, oh yeah, he acts like that. I was like, what do you mean he acts like that? They are like, yeah, that's just how he is, you know? I'm like, no, I don't know. <laughs> Why do you still work with him? What do you mean? He, she was like, Oh yeah, when he starts saying that he made you, then that's when you know you've been like working with him a long time. I wish he would. I wish he would. What? When he starts saying that he made you, bro, y'all, he says that to you and you still, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Could not be me. Hello. But yeah, I was like, that's, that does not sound, I'm not doing that. I'm, no, no. Anyway, so <laughs> I was like, that does not sound like a very healthy work environment. He's stealing chairs, telling people that he made them. Uh, this is probably going to be my last show here. First and last, quick, just... Wrap it up just like that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so after that, I was like, okay, whatever. Let me just continue doing my job. Um, so I'm talking to everyone who comes by. I really lengthened my email list too. And then I ended up selling a piece. I sold, it was a piece I made in high school too. I, I'm always, not surprised, but I'm always like, kind of happy to 
sell pieces I made in high school because I'm like, high school I was not confident in my work. <laughs> but that someone else likes it enough to buy it, like pay actual money for it, I'm like, wow, like, thank you. <laughs> like, and I've gotten more skills since then, so like, stick around. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I sold a piece. Immediately he comes over to me. He's like, how much did you sell that for? I'm like, why? Why? When we were talking on the phone the day before for that long duration of time, he was very specific that I don't need to pay any commission to him. I paid, oh gosh, I paid the $60 and that's it. I was like, um, why? He was like, well, that looked like a big sale. It's like, yeah, it was, it was a good one. He's just, and he's like, well, how much was it? I was like, why do you want to know? And he just started to blubbering. I was like, no reason. So you don't have a reason to know. Like, why, why are you asking me that? Anyway, so, and I, what, the thing is, I would have told him, but I just had a feeling that I shouldn't. You know when you get a feeling about something, you're just like, let me listen to my gut. I had a feeling that I shouldn't tell him, so I didn't. But I was like, I don't know, usually I'm, I'm not, I don't know. But I just had a feeling I shouldn't tell him, so I didn't tell him. And he ended up just being like, under 200 or over 200, at least tell me that. I was like, okay. Like, it was over, but that's all you're going to get. Like, <laughs> I don't know why he was why he was so pressed to find out anyway so right like that's that uh, he was either okay so from my own like uh reading of the situation he was either gonna ask for a cut or he was gonna do like um or like tell other people which i wouldn't be surprised with either honestly either one i he was kind of like unpredictable I didn't like that. He, not even unpredictable, just like unprofessional. Like, why would you steal a chair? That, that was not a good look. It was not a good first impression. Um, <laughs> especially for a pregnant lady, it just wasn't a good look. But, so yeah. Then, oh my gosh, I wish that was the end of the story. No. Then, <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that happened, and I, we got to the end of the day, and he's like, oh, you should come back next week. And I'm like, okay, I'll see. He's like trying to convince me to come back. Uh, I already knew I wasn't going to come back because I didn't like the way he was acting, like what he, how he was speaking to people, and I don't have to come back, you know? Like, I can, if I don't want to do that, I don't have to do it. So <laughs> he was trying to convince me to come back. When he was there, he was like, "You made a good, you made a good profit today. You should come back." I was like, "That's true. Um, we'll see if I make it, if I come back or not." Anyway, <laughs> so then I think it was either every week or every two weeks. The next time it comes around, he's messaging me like, "Bro, you know what? Let me pull it up, see if I can find it." But the next time it's rolling around, he's messaging me like crazy, but. He's, he's asking me to come back to his, to his, um, show, but he's asking me like, like it's a big favor to me. I'm just like, what? What are you even saying right now? Let me see if I can find the messages because he would literally send me paragraphs like every day. I, 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 and I was just like, I don't understand. Like I told you. I'll let you know. So let me let you know or not let you know, first of all. But he wasn't trying to take that hint. So he was just like, um, so, okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> so here are some of the things. Okay. <sighs> Wait, let me see where I can find it. Okay, these are the messages. I went all the way to the top, but these are the messages that he sent me before. Before, yeah, 
But even, see, the thing is, even before I started the, or did the first one, he was messaging me like crazy. I don't know why I expected him to just calm down. I don't know why. I don't know. But even before he was messaging me all the time, every time I liked their photo, he was like, hey, you should join this thing. Just pay me $50. It was 50 I just saw the number. He was like, just pay me $50 and then this, and you can do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the wrong thread. Oh, oh that's because it's my main. <laughs> oh, what is it called? Oh yeah, I remember. But he was mess messaging me like he was doing me a big favor, like I needed to be there. He was like, people, um, people are going to be looking for you, this and that. And I was like, okay, well... Like, if they look for me, like, just give them my, give them my, at, my Instagram. You know, like, that's, if you know, the thing about it is, in hindsight, because at the moment I was like, I don't understand why you're acting like this. I think I deleted the messages because they were full of anxiety. But, <laughs> for me, but, um... He was just like, oh, oh, I wish I had them, but they were, he was acting like, a, like he just, it was very unprofessional, especially someone like who owns a business. I was not expecting that kind of like, you need to be here. He was like, you're missing out on opportunities. You're not doing well. Like, the, I'm just like, what, what are you saying? Like, why are you trying to make me feel like bad? Why, what? Like, why would I want to work with you again? Like, it just, the math was not mathing. And I said that to him, too. I was like, <laughs> I was like, um, the way you're approaching me is as if you're asking, I was, t I told him, I was like, you're asking me to come back to your show, but you're asking me in a way that is making it sound like I need you to, the math is not mathing. No, exactly. I was like, I don't understand how, I don't understand how he has people there every Sunday. I mean, I guess it's good, like, publicity and he gets to talk to people, but at the same time, like, it is not, I don't want to deal with that every week, like, basically. But, yeah, just even thinking about this <laughs> is stressing me out because what the heck, who does that? And then after I told him that, he was like, you're right. I would love if you could come back this Sunday and do the show with us. I was like, no. <laughs> but I mean it's just like that was never the issue. I was not I was never gonna go. The issue is you acting like that. Why are you doing that? Like calm down. I, I don't I don't understand it. Like <laughs> exactly. Like why would I wanna after all of this and the thing is like so many messages, guys, like the stress, unneeded, unneeded stress. Like why, why, what is the reason? It was no reason, but oh, oh, and then, okay, so then another week passed, and of course he wasn't done. So a week passed, and I, a week passed that I didn't go, and he messaged me again, he said, people were looking for you. I was like, great, did you give them my at, like, like I asked you? He said, no, I'm not going to give them your at so they can um, make somebody else's uh, um, event popular. I was like, okay, so that's why you were acting like that. However, if you know, like, I'm going to make your event popular, it would behoove you to be, like, cool. Like, just be chill. Like, just calm down. Like, just... In fact, the thing about it... <laughs> the thing about it is because... Is that his reasoning doesn't make sense I'm more inclined to go back to your event if you if you are promoting me especially people are asking for me specifically you can't even tell them hey this is her Instagram and you're gonna get mad at me for doing literally nothing <laughs> I literally did nothing you're just talking you're just getting mad at me for something that could possibly happen and definitely will because I'm not going back there like I'm still gonna do art fairs but 
he just was not making very smart moves. And I was not about to be one of those people that he's saying, oh, I made you. Please, please, please calm down. Like, honey. And, yeah, no. And you gave me a makeshift table? Sir, you didn't even have my, my chair? Sir. <laughs> and you want to say that, oh my gosh, there was even a point during the fair he was like, he was like, you know what, the makeshift table is better. Hmm? What? I was like, no, that's what I heard. Because I was talking to somebody else about it and they were like, oh yeah, a lot of people are like that. A lot of art gallery people are. I was like, wow. Hmm. And I, of course, I can't avoid every gallery. However, I kind of can. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to try and keep that kind of energy to a minimum. Yeah, I was just, yeah, that was not a great experience. I don't even know how you got that story, but, but yeah, I was like, what the heck? It was him acting like I needed him after one thing when he was literally asking me to come back every day. Like, sir, come on. On another note. He has, right, he has the space, but he doesn't have the talent. And that's what he was saying even like when he was talking about, um, oh, uh, what was it? Oh, you're going to make somebody else's thing popular? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess it depends on your definition. But it definitely wasn't professional at all. And that's the main thing that I was like. I don't feel like I'm working with someone. I feel like, like, I need a restraining word. Not a restraining word, but I feel like I need you to not talk to me as much, as often, and not expect me to do just what you say, just especially the way he's approaching it. I did not like that. But yeah, he needs artisans to have his event. And that's why I was... That's another reason I was very confused why there were so many people there who knew that he did not treat his people well. Hello and welcome. But yeah, that was that was an odd experience. And honestly, hello, hello guys. Oh, welcome, welcome. I am still on the trees. <laughs> I will get to the animal soon, but for now I'm still I'm still tree locked. That I just made that up. <laughs> okay. But um yeah, if you need artisans to have your event, be cool to the artisans, you know? Like be nice. Thank you so much. This is too. <laughs> I decided I, um, I kind of want to do local color a little bit. I still have the twinges of blue and everywhere, but I'm also putting local color on top because I think it'll just make my life easier instead of having to change the color. Because if I change the color of one thing, I'll change the color of everything. And since I'm not doing a like monochromatic blue piece, wait, that would have been cool. Anyway, it's too late. Since I'm not doing a monochromatic blue piece, um, I have to add more colors. I still don't have to, but it'll be just more simple if... Sir, how do you go from amazing to stealing? How do you go from compliment to stealing? Bro, <laughs> that's a leap. I. I don't know what to say to that, but <laughs> I'll probably have prints up when I finish it. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I'm working on, thank you, thank you. I'm working on some new things in the shop. I want to do, or I have, actually I'll show you guys. I have some images 
that I want to, so I have sweatshirts and like hoodies in my shop already, but I want to start doing some like all over print stuff. Some all over print hoodies and sweatshirts. However, the thing about it is that I can only, ugh, so it's very difficult. The all over print items, they don't come like, when I make the image, it's not, it's not like the front of the shirt, including the sleeves and the collar. I have to do the front panel of the shirt, the sleeve separately, and then like the collar separately and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more complicated and I wasn't ready for that. I was trying to do the design earlier today and it, was, it just was not fitting well. But I'll show you what I have so far. Psych, I can't find it. <laughs> oh wait, I know where I put it. So it's actually from a previous design, but I just blew it up so that I can have more pixels and actually use it for other things. But this, I have this flower design and then I have um, the person, and then I have this person like falling, oh my gosh falling into somebody's hand and I want to figure out a way to put them together I'm there are some ways I already like in the original painting which I can also just show you really quickly I have um, okay so this is like I blew it up from this original actually this original but um, but I want to add it onto a shirt. However, I'm thinking I need to have the the image in color. <sighs> if I have it in color, I can only do one kind of the shirt. A lot of the stuff on my shop, you can get it in whatever color you want. But I remember, well, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was talking about how I want to have like a really decked out at least a couple like really decked out like hoodies or sweatshirts on my shop so I want to do that but I have to figure out a design I like because I don't really like having the same design on each part I feel like that looks really weird like if I have the same design here as I have on the arm and the other arm I'm just like why like why not just make a different design so I have to do that now Initially, when I went on to it to earlier today, I was like, okay, I'll just add the design, and great. But then I realized I can only do it with a white background, because it's like printed, it's all over print, and they don't do other colors. They just do that one white cloth, the one white like shirt. So, I have to do that. But, I mean, even though it's going to be more work, I think it'll be worth it because it's gonna be like super cool. And yeah, so that's my day. How are you guys doing? <laughs> venues oh that reminds me I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing pancakes and booze again um, in November I don't remember the exact day I want to say the second but I'm not sure but I'm doing pancakes and booze again and pancakes and booze the guy was super nice like the organizer he was super nice literally uh, I was gonna say he saved my life but he didn't I, I, I don't know if I was that I was in that much danger but guys I was at this pancakes and booze event really great event um, super fun I but let me tell you let me tell you honey oh let me tell you what happened so I get to the event um, maybe 
four or five. We have from, I think, one o'clock to six o'clock to set up and the event starts at seven. So I was in there late, but I got there early enough to like, get some of my stuff in. Um, so I set up my space. I didn't have one space because I got there so late and most of the space was taken up. But it was like first come first serve, so I kind of expected it to be mostly taken up. But I just put my a couple pieces here, a couple pieces there, a couple pieces on the other side. Um, and yeah, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have it spread out throughout the entire thing, and that's how it's gonna that's how it's gonna be. I put my card, my business card has my QR code on the back, so like my link tree to everything. So I was like, if they want to know, they can just like scan it really quick. Um, though, it would have been better to have all the stuff in the same spot. Anyway, so I'm standing next to one of the spaces that has like, or one of my hanging stuff that has somebody else's stuff on top. Um, nobody was there when I was hanging it up, so I was like, this should be fine. I don't know where they are, um, but there's space here. So I set up my easel and my painting that I was going to work on. This painting actually <laughs> I set up this painting that I was working on and um, I finished it there pretty cool pretty pretty nice use of my time um, but I was also talking to people people were coming up talking to me hey what are you doing what is this and there was a lot of debate on what this was as I was painting it I will take guesses <laughs> but um, or I guess I should show it if you guys are going to guess, but I set it up and I was like, okay, cool. So then 6.30 or 6.30, 6.45, the show's about to start and these people come in, the people, the, the stuff on top of mine. And I'm like, oh, hi, like I also am um, standing here, like I'm Sierra, blah, blah, blah. And the mother goes off. So there was an artist and then she's with her mom. So she's like, she's like, oh no, you need to move your stuff. Or, well, she didn't say stuff. She was like cursing at me. I was like, whoa, <laughs> like lady, please calm down. Um, I was like this, I was basically just trying to explain to her how the event is set up. Like, I was like, no, it's first come first serve. Like whatever space you can get, you just hang your stuff. She was not trying to hear it. She was like, no, we were here first. We've been here since one o'clock. I was like, you literally weren't here. I just hung up on my stuff. And you were nowhere to be found. Um, but we can share the space. Like, that's what was gonna happen either way. So I'm like, okay, well, we can share the space. She's She does not wanna hear that. She's like cursing and she's talking about, oh, I'm gonna um, like tear your paintings off the wall and stuff. It's like, um, no, you're not. So then I start getting defensive too. I'm like, what the heck? Lady, you're, you're dead wrong. <laughs> like, and you're gonna threaten my work? Like, what the heck? Yeah, I was, oh my gosh. I, anyway. Ugh, anyway, so thank goodness. Um, the organizer of the event happened to walk by at that same moment and he was like, he was like, whoa, what's going on here? And she starts yelling at him, oh, this girl's taking my daughter's spot, blah, blah, blah. He, she, she was like, no, she's right. She has all the right to, to sit here. And she starts arguing with him again. She's, she's just ready to fight everybody. Um, <laughs> and then he was like, no, I'm the organizer. She got quiet so quick, so quick. She said, zoop. She's like, oh, you could see the realization wash over her face. Yes, I am. You could see the realization wash over her face. She was like, oh, and she just piped down. I was like, okay, yeah. So I continued to sit where I was staying and do my, my business. Her daughter seemed so nice. I honestly felt bad for her a little bit because she was like, she was saying, oh, Guys, I feel like I can't even get to this story tonight because there's so many things happened. So many things. Ugh. 
Oh my gosh, it's almost 11 o'clock too. Okay, I'm going to finish the story and then, um, <laughs> and then that'll be it. But, she's, yeah, she's getting belligerent and, um, these kind people across from me, they were selling like lotions and candles, I think. If I, if I can find their thing, I'll tag it when I post it on YouTube or when I post this on YouTube. But, um, they were so kind. Literally, like, three women from across the way were like, wait a minute, what just happened over here? I was like, um, <laughs> I told them the story, and they were just like, what the heck? Like, that's literally how this event goes. I was like, yeah, I know. Um, but they were, like, they were really writing for me. Like, I was really appreciative of that. Um, so, the event starts, whatever. I'm doing fine, painting my painting, talking to people. And I had an event coming up too that I was also like promoting for my my um, two year anniversary. So then, <sighs> yeah, um, <laughs> they were everything was fine, but I didn't really see the daughter like come back at all really much. The booth next to ours even offered her space to like move her stuff over there she wanted to be next or she wanted to use that space and she refused it so i was like well she must be fine with it like i don't know why her mom is being like so i, I don't know why she was i don't know why she was acting like that anyway so <sighs> i'm minding my business having a great time kind of i mean i'm still a little bit shook about the event that's never I've never had someone especially so blatantly wrong like anyway I, I was very confused and like uncomfortable with that but the event goes on and this random guy comes up and he's like hey can you um, move your stuff somewhere else I was like really like why is this happening again? He was like, well, my friend's stuff is here, and your stuff is here. Yeah. Like, he's like, well, you're blocking the view of my friend's stuff. I was like, what do you mean? I'm literally standing right in front of my stuff. Like, you could barely see, people were peeking over to see my stuff. Like, I was like, I don't understand what you mean. There's clear view. He was like, well, you're distracting people from looking at it. I was like, I'm here in front of my work talking to people. Is that what you mean? Like, you don't want me to promote myself here? He was like, well, yeah, because, like, you're, you're competing with his work. This is kind of a competition. I mean, it's not a competition even, but, like, he can be here too. There is space. Like, if he wants to stay next to his work, that's his choice. Anyway, he's like, no, you, it's your responsibility to move because my friend, I don't know. He was missing. I didn't see him. I, 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 I did not see him. Like, the entire time, I think I saw him one time. The entire show. It was like from 7 to 11 or midnight. I saw this guy one time. I was like, I don't know why you guys are blaming me. Yeah, I was just like, I'm doing art, I'm being engaging with people, like, I'm standing here. That might be why people are talking to me. Like, I don't understand why you're trying to make me do less because your friend is doing nothing. I mean, that's not my problem. That's his problem. He can, he can solve it, literally. He can stand here. I was, I was just like, I don't understand, like, why everyone wants to have a problem with me that day. But the, the organizer was really had my back. I was like, wow. Okay, guys, so I haven't even gotten to the worst part. <sighs> so the lady comes back again. She doesn't come to me. She comes to the booth next to me where the guy is minding his business. She starts off. The thing is, I, I have, like, a radar for her at this point. So <laughs> as soon as she comes into the area, I'm like, because I know the, the organizer already told her to, like, cut it out and move out of my space. So I was like, okay, well, whatever, maybe she's cooled down. 
but she talks she talks to the guy about his work for two seconds probably less and then she points right at me and she's oh, what does she say she said something about like how I was I was mean or something and then that she was gonna beat me up basically I was like what what are you serious ma'am like you're a grown woman really really her daughter was like my age i was just like are you serious right now so then the other girl the other woman on the, on the other side of the um aisle they already had their radar on too so as soon as they saw her, they were like, wait, hold on, what did she say? I was like, yeah, she came over and literally just threatened me. One of them went out to the, they have like a outdoor seating bar area. She went out to the area and she, I was like, you really don't need to do that. Like, I, I, I'll just tell the organizer or something when he comes back around. But she was like, no, because that, I can't just let that slide. I was like, okay. Um... She goes and comes back, and, and she's like, oh my gosh, that lady, she just yelled in my face and she scratched my arm. I was like, what the heck? What happened? <laughs> what the heck? I did not expect a physical arts altercation. Um, wow. Uh, okay, sorry about that. She's like, no, because she started it. Somebody had to tell her something. I was like, okay. But, <laughs> like, okay. So, then, the organizer comes back over to me, and I'm ready to tell him, yeah, the lady came back and, and um, threatened me. And he's like, oh, I heard one of your friends, um, uh, I heard one of your friends choked the, this lady. I said, what? No, I don't know anything about that. Uh, nope, wasn't me. And really, I hadn't, well, some of my friends were there, as you know, but, um, that lady, I, I just met her. When he said my friends, I was like, who? Oh, I don't, I don't think anybody went out there after her, or, or none of my, the people I knew prior to this event. And I was like, and then I, I told him, I was like, I think you're talking about her yeah and she was like she was like oh um so they spoke about it and basically she was in the right apparently the woman was like like pressing her phone into her and like putting her finger in her face and like i don't know doing the most which was expected after her scene but i was like okay like I, I was apologizing to this lady so much that night. I was like, I'm so sorry. I did not expect that, like, to escalate. Actually, I didn't expect it to escalate like that, but I should have because of the way that lady was acting. Anyway, so, <laughs> so he was like, oh, okay. Because he was telling me, like, I couldn't stay if, if I had my friends fighting people. I was like, I did not do that. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I know that the lady um hurt this woman over here uh anyway so then she was kind of like uh, i don't know if she was banished or what but i didn't see her again i did see her daughter who came back apologized to me and just took her stuff down i was like okay i feel bad for her daughter she seemed like she, and there are people coming around asking me oh where's the um artist who have this has the stuff up there i was like oh she's around i'll let her know and i did let her know but she was never there when she came back around and i guess she never found her because she wanted to buy a piece of her art anyway so i was like that was a lot and the other guy oh my gosh the other guy who had the photographs up he sent like two or three other friends in fact they came in groups to come and try and get me to move i was just like what the heck what is happening like if you got the thing is if you guys wanted to have that spot that's fine just stay there 
And when I came up to say, oh, let me take some of the space, just be like, no. But I already set up everything. I was just like, I don't understand why. It was irrational. It didn't make sense. And that's the thing that was really bothering me because uh, my past self would have been like, okay, I'll just move. But I had support and I knew I was in the right. That's the thing that really killed me too. Like you guys are dead wrong, really trying to peer pressure me. Not even peers, just trying to make me move, like for no reason. Ugh. Anyway, like, ugh, that was a long night. Mm. But luckily the, the organizer had my back. It's really good that he was there when the lady first came, like just cursing at me. Cause I was like, whoa. The show hasn't even started yet. Please calm down. It's not that serious. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, so that was my um, experience. And my first experience with them. And I'm about to go back very soon. So, <laughs> honestly, but I'm, I mean, if the guy hadn't had my back. Oh my gosh, almost forgot. A uh, little add-on. So I thought it was over after that after that um, experience with all that, but no, but wait, there's more. After the um, after the event, I I made a post on my Instagram about um, about about uh, the event. Like, just keep no like, why though? No, literally, I have to bring protection. I have to bring like the big guns. Like seriously, why was that so? <laughs> I've never had such a. Cause the whole time I'm nervous that this lady's gonna come back and actually like try and hit me or destroy my work, which she also threatened to do. I was like, what is going on? Like it's really not that serious. We're here to have the event is called pancakes and booze. Enjoy yourself. It's just calm down, <laughs> like, have some pancakes, drink some booze, enjoy your life. Anyway, so after I <laughs> left the event, I made a post just on my, like, Instagram. No, there's no way she could have had too much booze, like, she just got there. Before the event even started, she was mad. I was like, please, lady, why? Why, are you okay? But <laughs> after I got to the, or uh, after I went, oh, this is on page. Uh, I don't even have it on here. Okay. After I did the event and I made the post, some artist who was on the other side of me, not the guy who offered the space, but on the other side, um, another artist, she commented, she thought it was appropriate to comment on my reel and say oh my gosh you know it's always these people that start with um i really hope that you had a great time in the show and i wish you all the best but i have never seen someone act as um rude or as meanly as you did at pancakes and booze before i was like bro you have no idea what i went through today I was like, are you serious? But, and it was the audacity to post it on my page. If you have an issue with me, like, directly message me. Everyone knows that's the right way to go. Like, everyone knows if you have an issue, talking it out. Well, actually, maybe not everyone knows that. However, that is the correct way to do things. If you have an issue, talk it out with me. Like, DM me. If, you really, if it really bothered you that much, even though it had nothing to do with you, DM me, or you could have spoken to me at the event. You were there. You looked at me and you didn't say anything. Anyway, I guess, but the thing is, she had no idea what she was talking about. Literally, she's just gonna say that, put it on my page, like, my post could have complained about all that stuff. I could have said, this was ridiculous and I really had to fight tooth and nail to just even hang my stuff, but no, I chose to look at the bright side. I was like, you know what? I met new people. I got, I gave my card to people. I was talking to other artists. Um, 
and other stuff like that. I'm looking at it positively because, I don't know, like, the guy was really rooting for me. I didn't want to, like, talk badly about my experience because also the organizer was super, super sweet and, like, really trying to help me <laughs> the whole time. I didn't want that to, like, be part of the my post. But I was like, lady, you literally know nothing. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> so she didn't know what she was talking about. Anyway, so then I responded to her post. Or I didn't respond on my page. I took down her post. Because it was, it's, the thing is, I went to her page and she's like, positive energy only, no bad vibes. I swear it's always those people. Like, please practice what you preach, man. If you're not going to do it, don't make it your tagline. Like, immediately disprove it. Anyway, I went to her page, responded to her message. I, I mean, I directly messaged her because I have coup. I was like, hey, so I saw you. I saw your slander. <laughs> I didn't say that. But I was like, I saw you um, posted on my reel um, about the situation that you caught a glimpse of at pancakes and booze which you did not ask me about and if you had an issue with me you should have dm'd me as i think you know because why would you post it on my page but and i gave her like a tiny glimpse into what i was like literally they were threatening me the whole time these people that you're trying to defend so before the show even started i was getting i was getting screamed at and cursed at so anyway maybe you should find out stuff before you insert yourself basically is what I said I was like are you are you it literally had nothing to do with you just mind your business also that could work that can work mind your business always wins in the end <sighs> okay so that's the end of that story I I want to give like guys like a positive story to end with today there was a lot of drama in this in this stream sorry <laughs> but yeah, true story. What the heck? Mm. Honestly, I hate to say it, but... <sighs> Thank you. The art is good. Yeah, let me just... Let's go on, to, let's go on the peaceful note. <sighs> I feel like I need to de-stress now. <laughs> <sighs> Any exciting things happening in you guys' lives? Any happy... Um, Happy things happening today, tomorrow, this weekend. Oh my gosh, do you guys have Halloween plans? That's something exciting coming up. I still do not have a costume. I want to go as someone though. I feel like every year I could do nothing. I feel like once I hit probably like 16 maybe 15 i was like mm, i could not do anything for halloween and that would be normal or i could do something for halloween and be myself hmm. <laughs> and so i usually do things one year i was a deer i was so cute oh my gosh well i don't have the deer on here yet but we know it's gonna come i was so cute i don't know if i still have the pictures on my instagram I probably archived them. But I was like, oh my gosh. Very cute. And I had this like brown like velvet dress. It worked out. Work on Halloween? Do they have a Halloween um, hologram up? And even if you do work, well, I don't have to work day or night. But Halloween is all about the nighttime. Honey, all about the night time. Okay, guys. Ah! I'm gonna erase that. So, just gonna. That did not erase it. Um, I'm gonna try that again. A little bit of juice, a little bit of chemical.
Muggles. They don't have Halloween stuff. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave it. Just gonna leave it. Mm hmm. Nope. Mm, just leave it. Okay. That. What do they have up? Last time I went, they had the cherry blossoms, which was really pretty. Oh my gosh, it was really pretty. I had to get, I was taking a photography class at the time, and I had to get like a full, not full, but like I had to get a photo that was not what it looks like, or like a deceptive photo or something. I, don't, I forget what he said it was, but anyway, something like that, something that is not what it looks like. So I took pictures of the cherry blossoms at Art Tech House, Art Tech House, Art Tech House, and I was like, these look like flowers, but they're actually balls. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna start a raid. I'm gonna start a raid. Let's see who's on. And I'll also take suggestions as per usual. But I'm going to leave. And I will be back. <gasps> Hello! And welcome back. Long time. Yes, yes, I know. I have been um, absent. However, I am getting a schedule together that is very workable for me. When I first came on Twitch, I was like, I'm going to work every day or stream every day. That was not plausible. So now I'm going to do like every other day, three times a week, I think I have. So not tomorrow, but. Thursday and then Saturday <laughs> and possibly Sunday but we'll see so yes hello and I will I'm actually about to read but you can stick through that if you like um let me see who's yes and I've updated my um schedule on Twitch also because I know that was probably misleading for a long time because I was just like okay well I'm not doing that. And on my Discord, you can let I'll, you can find out about when I'm going to stream because I always put it on. Oh my gosh, so close! I bet you almost forgot this time, didn't you? Had to had to. Um, the bells are ringing nearby. Okay, let me find someone to raid. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're going to Lermy Wormy, and um, they're painting a painting of a person. I think it, it looks like a person, and I'm pretty sure it's a person. Um, <laughs> you don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm thinking. Anime is amazing, and um, am I washing one right now? Psyche K, but we'll talk about that next time. See you Thursday on Alta Core TV. Okay, well, I'm gonna start it. <laughs>
Okay, bye. Have a good evening. See you the next time. You guys too. Sleep well.